once rightly said that life is all about relationships, so cherish those you have. Respected Chief Guest, Ms. Aisha Bint Muhammad bin Hammam, Patron DPS Modern Indian School, Acting President Mr. Yasir Nainar, Acting Vice President Mr. George Thomas, Directors of the Executive Committee, other members of the management, Principal Ms. Asna Nafiz, Vice Principals Ms. Shoma Bhattacharji, Ms. Be Mary Cruz, Ms. Shifa Sheikh, Principals from our sister concerns, invited guests from other schools, coordinators, teachers, parents, and the stars of today's evening, my dear students, a very good evening to one and all. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the Kindergarten Annual Day. DPS Modern Indian School is an icon for quality education in Qatar, a school which is a dream of every parent in Qatar. Our kindergarten program is designed to encourage learning outcomes that focus on nurturing children to develop holistically, morally, and globally, including knowledge acquisition, Islamic studies, moral science, and Qatar history are taught to the children right from the kindergarten. We are a school with a difference, and today's annual day will prove why we are a school with a difference. Children who are under our guidance are the focal point of our existence. We find new ways of igniting the minds of our students each day by making their discovery of life interesting at each step, so they are eager to unravel the mystery of life around them. Before we proceed with the formal program, let me acquaint you to the venue and brief you about certain points to remember. We have exits and washrooms on both sides of the auditorium. Prayer arrangements are in C block first floor. First aid facility is in B block ground floor. Arrangement for nursing mothers is also in the same room. All are requested to either switch off your phones or put it on silent mode. Parents are requested to refrain from coming forward to click photographs as it distracts our performers. Students can be picked up from their respective classrooms only after the entire program is over and dispersal announcements are made. If you have a child accompanying you, you are requested to carry the child on your lap. To avoid any inconvenience, kindly cooperate with the school. Today's formal program will be hosted by our young kinder orators. I humbly request everyone present here to shower them with lots of love and appreciate their efforts with thunderous applause. The comparers today are all between the age of three and a half to four and a half years, but I'm very sure they will get you glued to your seats. So without taking much time, I hand over to Zehra Fatima Firoz and Ojasvi Pawan Bagore to start the formal program. Good evening, good evening. How are you today? Good evening, good evening. I am happy today. Assalamu alaikum and greetings to everyone present here. I am Zahra and I am Mojasvi. I am so excited to witness and be part of this occasion. We along with a team of anchors, I host for today's dazzling evening. Yes, it is indeed a pleasant evening. Also, in the mood of celebration, ambience, and chirping of our fellow friends, prayer makes us powerful. So let us begin our grand function by invoking the blessings of the Almighty. Here are my friends, Ahmad bin Shani with the recitation of Holy Quran, Zainab Murtaza with the English translation and Inaya with the English prayer.
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المعضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين صدق الله العظيم In the name of Allah, the most beneficial, the most merciful. Praise be to God, the Lord of the universe, the mercy giving, the merciful, master of the day of judgment. You do we worship and you do we call for help. Guide us along the straight road, the road of those whom you have favor, whom you are not angry. Nor who are lost through our divorce of Allah. Now, before our annual day, let us not forget to pray to God who keeps us through the night and wakes us up with the morning light. I start with thanks and give prayer for all you kind and loving ways.
acquired the blessings of Almighty and sang the national anthem. Let's proceed towards our school's vision, mission, objectives, and motto. On this note, let's see the vision of our school. DPS Modern Indian School aims at the holistic development of the students by inculcating values that enable them to excel and to be proactive and positively contributing global citizens. The mission of DPS Modern Indian School is to motivate students to realize the potential and empower them to achieve academic excellence and make them appreciate what they receive from home, school, community and country so that they contribute and grow making the collective difference to the world they live in. The objectives of our school are academic excellence, true value-based education, to promote independent learning, to promote and preserve environment, to hone pre-vocational skills, service to community. The motto of our school is service before self. This means that we should serve others willingly, graciously and selflessly. We should not expect anything in return for our service because there is greater pleasure giving than in receiving. By serving others, we serve God. Life begins, love never ends. Hey, Isha, don't you feel this evening is different? Yes, Abdullah, it's a kindergarten annual day. Aren't you happy? Indeed, it's a pleasant evening. All soaking in the mood of celebration, ambience, and chirping of our fellow friends. It is our day. On behalf of DPS Kindergarten family, we heartily welcome respected chief guest Ms. Aisha bin Muhammad bin Hama, patron, DPS Modern Indian School, acting president Mr. Yazin Ainar, acting vice president Mr. George Thomas, ST members of Executive Committee, principal Ms. Afna Nafis, Vice Principals, Ms. Shoma Padacharji, Ms. Mary Cruz, Ms. Shifa Sheikh, Headmistress, Ms. Najila Muhammad Bukhari. All invited guests, parents, grandpas, grandmas, uncles, aunts, all yours watching us, and my dear friends. Good evening and a very warm welcome to our annual day program. Anokhi Rishte, pressure your relationship. My friends and I eagerly waiting to showcase our talent in front of you all. We hope you enjoy it as much as we did during our practice sessions. Let's not forget to thank Almighty this evening whose grateful presence anchors us. Once again, a warm welcome to one and all. We Indians are known for our hospitality across the globe. It is a part of our culture and tradition to serve our guests and loved ones 
with token of appreciation. Flowers are the most divine creation, so I say that flowers speak louder than words. We have some of our friends with smiles on their faces and flowers in their hands to present our guests as a token of gratitude and respect. In a world full of individuals, twins shine as a unique pair. When twins are born in a family, the joy of the family doubles up. Today we have a unique bouquet and memento presentation. To wish you double the joy and double the gratitude, this presentation will be done by a set of nine twins in kindergarten. With a heart full of love and gratitude, we present a token of love to our chief guest, Ms. Aisha Bint Muhammad Bin Hammam, patron DPS Modern Indian School. Ms. Aisha is a graduate in accounts and finance from Qatar University, deputy chairman and finance director of Chemco Group. We welcome you, ma'am, and are honored with your presence on this special day. We have Darsh Purohit and Dakshit Purohit, along with Aira Ali and Ainur Ali. Gratitude is for Mr. Yasir Nainar, Acting President, DPS Modern Indian School, Doha, Qatar. Vice President, Savitri Bai Pule, Pune University, Doha, Qatar. Chairperson at Billabong High School, Chennai, India. A passionate educator and a leader. Thank you, sir, for taking out time from your busy schedule and gracing this occasion. To present the bouquet and memento, we have Muhammad Yusuf Saifullah and Muhammad Yunus Saifullah. A token of gratitude for Mr. George Thomas, Acting Vice President, DPS Modern Indian School, Group CFO of Intertech, former International Director of Toastmasters, instrumental in bringing Indian corporates like State Bank, LIC and HDFC to Doha, Qatar. Thank you, sir, for always being a part of our program. To present the bouquet and memento, we have Prince Katuria and Yuvraj Katuria to do the presentation. A token of gratitude to Mr. Rocky Fernandez, Director, DPS Modern Indian School. Sir is an Operation Manager at QCC Group, a Toastmaster and Social Activist. Thank you, sir, for your presence. To present the bouquet and memento, we have Adina Salman and Alina Salman.
A token of gratitude to Mr. Harishem Kanjani, Director, DPS Modern Indian School, Chairman, North Indian Association, a prominent businessman from a family who are pioneers of Indian business in Qatar. Two popular yearly awards have been constituted by his family, ICBF M. Kanjani Charity Award and M. Kanjani Educational Award given to class 10 and 12 toppers of DPS Modern Indian School. Thank you, sir, for your generosity and benevolence. To present the bouquet and memento, we have Hanifa Kausar and Fatima Kausar. A token of gratitude to Mr. Gopi Varadhan, Director, DPS Modern Indian School. A prominent business personality, engineer by profession, diversified into many significant services and businesses like educational, manufacturing industries and restaurants across Qatar, UAE and India. Thank you, sir, for your presence. To present the bouquet and memento, we have Kian Teresa D'Souza and Kevin Dominic. A token of love and gratitude to our dear principal, Ms. Asna Nafis, Principal DPS Modern Indian School, President Gulf Sahodeya Qatar Chapter, Permanent Advisory Committee of Private School MOEHE Doha Qatar. Ma'am, we thank you for your constant support and mentorship. To present the token, we have Hana Mariam Walapil and Mohammad Hatim Walapil, along with Ivana Alexi and Ivania Alexi. A token of love and gratitude to our Vice Principal, Ms. Shifa Sheikh, Principal Monarch and Principal Kangaroo Kids. Principal Monarch, Ms. Meenal Bakshi and Principal Kangaroo Kids, Ms. Juhi. Thank you, students. Moving ahead, I hand over to Dakshit Purohit for the further proceedings. So, 
Without taking much of your time, I call my friends to present the welcome dance. خلاص خلينا نكون مع بعضينا نغمة صوتها مزيكا الخطوة المشية انت كماشي غريبة كل الناس ما يحسدوني عليها بين فيهم رغروا سوا ربي خليك ليا رحنا بقى وعشران طول زمان ودايما حبتنا اهو يكون غلطان وفي هجمان اللي ناوي فرقنا to move.
these children deserve a louder round of applause, everyone. Principal Ma'am. She told me that Principal Ma'am has a beautiful smile. And one more secret, she wears a beautiful sari. This year, when I joined the school in nursery, I was so delighted to meet our dear Principal Ma'am. Miss Asnana Fees. She dreams, she patiently mentors, and she executes her vision to make our dreams come true. I would like to take the honor of invite our dear principal ma'am, Miss Asnana Fees. Thank you, Danveer. That was such a beautiful way of introducing me. I am really touched. A very good evening to the chief guest, Miss Aisha Bint Hammam, our patron, our strength, and a woman leader who we look up to. Acting President, Mr. Yasser Nainar. Acting Vice President, Mr. George Thomas. Members of the EC, Mr. Rocky Fernandez, Mr. Harish Kanjani, Mr. Gopi Vardhanan. Members of the Management Committee, Principals of Sister Schools, Ms. Meenal, Ms. Juhi, my Vice Principal, Ms. Shifa Sheikh from the Junior School, in absentia, the Vice Principals of the High School and the Higher Secondary School, the HM of the Primary, the Kindergarten, Ms. Najla, the entire team of kindergarten teachers, very, very proud parents of the kindergarten, and the lovely, young, little, talented students of the kindergarten. A very good evening. I can visibly see the excitement in the young parents for what is awaiting to be unfolded this evening. This evening's event is very, very special to us because it is a culmination of a lot of hard work, dedication from all members of the school, be it from the support from the management, be it the support from the parents and the teachers, and of course, the long hours of practices that our little young ones have put in. As you would have just seen, the little sample of what's awaiting you. We are very, very proud to say that we are a school with a difference. We have a chief patron who refers to us as his children. How blessed are we to have someone like Mr. Hammam, His Excellency, holding that position, holding the family together as one unit. God bless the Chief Patron, the Patron, for the support that they have always given us in keeping us as one strong unit. And we call ourselves a family with a difference, a school with a difference. And indeed, we are a school with a difference. As I was seated there and I was talking to ma'am and to sirs, I mentioned that we were preparing one of our students who was shortlisted by the Ministry of Education and Higher Education to represent the state of Qatar in the International Life Science Olympiads. And this morning, we received a confirmation mail that among the six students who are to represent the state of Qatar in the international examination at Thailand, our student is 
one of the rare Indian students who's made it to that league, special league. So it's congratulations to Anuj, to his teachers, and of course, I always say it's never the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. It's the kindergartners and the teachers there who really lay the foundation for the difference that our children bring to our school and to the society. Our school has always abided and complied with the local ministry's regulations. And off late, you would have been observing that we are sending regular circulars to you because of the major changes that the ministry has brought in with regard to compliance. And we are ever thankful to our parents for understanding this compliance and abiding by it. I take this opportunity to thank the state of Qatar for the opportunities that they give us in establishing this institution and as well as running it smoothly. I also take this opportunity to talk to my parents on this very special theme. As you are aware, DPS Modern Indian School has always believed in theme-based annual days, theme-based with topics that are very current, very happening, which are very required to be addressed. A few days ago, we had the whole school annual day on the concept of Antariksh, the journey to the moon and the beyond. And this was discussing the journey of India in this space and how we have succeeded in the soft landing of the Chandrayaan. His Excellency, Mr. Vipul, the ambassador of India to the state of Qatar, was our chief guest, and he had told me he would be there for about 45 minutes. He was so impressed with the program that he stayed on for two hours, and mind you, for the first time, we have received a congratulatory note from the ambassador appreciating the efforts of the school in promoting science and technology through a medium of art. That's truly the integration of subjects. I would also like to place on record that major changes are taking place with the CBSE's National Curriculum Framework, and the major changes that are going to come in will shortly be intimated to you as they come to us. The focus is going to shift completely away from marks to that of, what does it shift to? If not marks, then what? Co-curricular activities, any takes, young parents, I'm sure you're reading a lot on what's happening with CBSE. It's completely going to move away from marks to skill-based learning, experiential learning. Marks are just going to be a very small component. A holistic report card would be given to you, and you don't have to worry about marks all the time. I think you are living in the best times that the CBSE has created for us. We as a school have... Even before CBSE came up with these ideas, we as a school have always believed in holistic development. I often share our news and our achievements with our management, and literally in every event that our school participates, we ensure that we win. If at one end we are proud of this, we are also proud equally of our inclusive education program where we have a lot of learning disabled children, special needs children with us, and we have an entire department focused on it where we help our children to understand what learning is all about. We build confidence, we build strength in our children. This evening's theme is Anoke Rishte, treasure your relationships. I'm sure as young parents, you're very, very concerned as to what type of future your children are going to have, especially in a world that is so divided on so many various platforms, where, where, whether it is on racial discrimination, it is on economic discrimination. It is the way we treat the haves, the have-nots. I'm sure each parent is very concerned. You're also, I'm sure, very equally concerned with the amount of time your child spends with technology. So this topic is picked up, the theme is picked up, to ensure that we reconnect with every single relationship of ours, whether it's the humane relationships with our family members, or it is with the country of our birth, the country of our choice, or with nature, because unless we don't have these connects, and greater than all this, our connect with the Almighty. May I request all our parents to focus on these little things that are more more valuable than marks, which will help your child to enjoy a happy future, which even with a little less income, with good health, both mental, physical, and spiritual, I'm sure your child would be better off than most people around the world. So to all my parents, thank you for partnering with us. To all my management members, especially Ms. Aisha, for coming out on a very, very special day. 
Our school was missing your presence a lot, ma'am. Thank you for this honor. We love you, we care for you, we respect you, and the school is a place that brings a lot of happiness to all of us. May God bless every one of us who's here, and may our children be the ambassadors of the future, especially ambassadors of peace, of economic, narrowing down of economic differences, and all other good things in the world. May they be true global citizens who understand and value diversity and inclusion. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I'm super excited to invite our next speaker. He is none other than our acting vice president, Mr. John Thomas. He is educationist by passion, but before we invite sir on stage, let's listen what my friends have to say about him. Our acting vice president, Mr. George Thomas, is a leader who believes in action more than words. He is a very active person who plays an important role in our school. Sir has been a driving force behind many of our school's initiatives. He is also a constant source of inspiration for all of us. It is an honor to introduce someone who has dedicated his life to the betterment of our school. Please welcome our acting vice president, Mr. George Thomas, to speak a few words on this grand day of DPS MIS Kindergarten Annual Day. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together to welcome Sir. Thank you very much, children, for that wonderful introduction. I was sitting there and thinking, are they talking about me or somebody else? <laughs> Our patron, Miss Aisha, acting president, Yasser Nainar, my colleagues in the executive committee, Principal Asna Ma'am and her wonderful team, dignitaries, invitees, parents, and my dear children. Good evening. <clears throat> treasure your relationship. We have so many relationships to build and maintain in this world to succeed. These children have already shown us how it works. They might have been working so hard for the last few weeks. They would have built so many relationships. They would have understood the value of cooperation the value of understanding, the value of accommodating. That is what relationship is all about. Whether it's a human relationship or a relationship with technology or with the nation or with our God, we have to be transparent, accommodative and understanding. Then only the relationship can be sustained, it can be maintained and it can be grown. Today, these children, I'm sure, will open our eyes wider, make us understand how relations need, need to be maintained. And this learning, I hope, we will be able to carry out in our life as we leave this hall and move forward. These little ones, I'm waiting to see them. I'm sure the excitement of the parents was so great when the welcome dance was performed. I'm sure you will continue that, encourage them so that most of them, I'm sure, may be coming onto the stage in front of such an audience for the first time in their life. They are so excited. We are also so excited 
to keep them motivating, to keep them going, so that we can learn from them and we can contribute towards their life and to the human life in general. I hope you will have a very enjoyable and exciting time today and learn a few lessons from these little ones. All the best. for your valuable words. Guests are like fresh flowers in the bouquet of life. They add colors and fragrance to any occasion. We feel honored to have with us Miss Aisha bin Muhammad bin Hammam has a Honorable Chief Guest, I, Dhruvi Nayak, on behalf of Deepya Samai's Kindergarten, would like to call our Honorable Chief Guest to address the gathering and enlighten us. Good evening, everybody. I hope you are enjoying so far. It is always a moment of happiness and the pride to, me, uh, to be amongst the tiny tots for, of our kindergarten, especially on their special day, the kindergarten annual day. The theme of this year, annual day, is very special as we celebrate, uh, celebrate relationships. On this occasion, I wish to reiterate our family's commitments to the social bond we share with DPS Modern Indian School. We thank you all for the love and understanding you have for our school. I take this opportunity to congratulate all our students, teachers, and the school principal for their dedication and commitments. Thank you, and I wish you a very lovely evening. Thank you. The best part of any competition is that through it we discover what we are capable of and how much more we can actually do than we ever believed possible. DPS Modern Indian School Kindergarten students participated in a prestigious inter-school competition, Sintella, hosted at Rajagiri Public School. Exemplary in each step, DPS Modern Indian School Kindergarten attains a splendid hat-trick triumph, reigning supreme as the overall champions for the third consecutive years and towering above 19 participating schools. Our students showcase their talents across seven diverse categories, emerging victorious in each one. It is with great pleasure that I extend a warm welcome to our esteemed chief guest and other distinguished guests to join us on stage and present the well-deserved trophy to our tri triumphant students. Let's shower these unparalleled champions with a resounding round of applause. Winners in all seven categories and hat-trick win for three years, DPSMIS champions before you all.
request our vice principal Ms. Shifa Sheikh to join us on stage please. Now I call upon Ditya and Rashid to propose the vote of thanks. Gratitude is the fairest blossom that springs from the soul. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to attain our Lord, but to live by them. It is great pleasure that we on behalf of our teachers and friends of kindergarten take the proud privilege to propose the word of thanks. First and foremost, our sincere gratitude to our guests for gracing the occasion, your gentle words of appreciation and loud applause. We always be a source of encouragement for all of us. The contribution to all those who have made it possible needs to be acknowledged. We extend our sincere thanks to everyone who with their presence, time, energy and efforts have helped in making the show successful. Our gratitude to our chief guest, president, vice president, other management members, principal, vice principal, headmistress, coordinators, teachers from grade 1 to 5 for the support, administration, art department, IT department, dance department, IT department, transport department, security, housekeeping, who made this show a grand success. Last but not least, our hearty thanks to our parents. Without the support, nothing would have been possible. Finally, we bow our head in gratitude to the Almighty for blessing us abundantly. A very good thing to an end all. Now, as we are heading to work, the most sad part of today's annual day, that is the cultural program. I am getting goosebumps. The theme of today's annual day, they come in emotion to the whole level. Ayub, do you remember the theme? Of course, we. How can we forget about it? Today's annual day, inspired by the story, brown like dosa, samosa, and shiki shiki, it turned by the baker manari. But as usual, the deepest modern Indian school team have given a twist to the story. Our version of the story is about Susie, a confident, creative, and talented girl loves to paint and she paints a jar of light. Thought our relationships 
in her life. But you know, Rotwick and Ayu, what happens when she meets a strange purple fairy who tries to tempt her and promises to give her a lot of incentives in exchange for her relationships. Will little Sudhi give in to the offer made by the tempting fairy or is she just happy the way she is? Come with us in this cult magic of relationships. But before that, please switch up mobile phone so that nobody will disturb you. Sit back, relax, and sit on an excited journey with us. It's a humble request to everyone present here to watch this program with a full zeal and appreciate our effort with applause and cheering. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting for you all, Susie and a jar of relationships, a beautiful palette of relationships, fun, excitement, entertainment, a chance of kindergarten. Sit back, relax, and join us as we present a no care day. Treasure your relationships. Today's annual day celebration is not just a spectacle of talent. It's a heartfelt tribute to the beautiful relationships that grace our lives. In the grand tapestry of existence, our connections with others are the threads that weave the most profound stories. This event is more than just a performance. It's an earnest endeavor to instill in our young learners the significance of realizing and cherishing the bonds that enrich their life. As the curtain rises and our dazzling stars take the stage, let their performances be a reminder of the intricate dance of relationships. Anokhe Rishte is not merely a theme. It's a call to treasure and nurture the bonds that make our lives extraordinary. Today, let us all be mesmerized, not just by the talent on display, but by the recognition of the profound value of the relationships we are blessed with. So sit back, enjoy the show, and let the essence of these unique connections linger in your heart. Presenting before you all, Anokhe Rishte, treasure your relationships.
एक दूसरे से करते हैं प्यार हम एक दूसरे के लिए बेकरार हम एक दूसरे से करते हैं प्यार हम एक दूसरे के लिए बेकरार हम एक दूसरे के वास्ते मरना पड़े तो है तैयार हम है तैयार हम एक दूसरे से Gratitude Day, that is September 21st, her school had a gratitude jar activity and she had decorated a jar and filled it with the drawings of all the favorite people in her life and called it My Jar of Relationships. I am Susie. I love myself. I am super smart. I believe in myself. I am kind. 
I love nature. Sometimes I laugh. Sometimes I cry. Sometimes I fall. But I still wish to fly. Calling. I am the way I am. And I am very happy with that. I may be tall or I may be short. My body may be thin or fat, but it really doesn't matter at all. I am the way I am. All children from different countries, speaking different languages, having different dreams, are beautiful in their own way. Let's celebrate this difference by being human. Let's be proud of who we are.
always fascinated her. She would imagine and create a whimsical fairyland around her. One day, she painted a purple crowned fairy with a beautiful attire made of a number of layers of purple laden with sparkle and glitter. As she was admiring her beautiful work, suddenly... There was a flash of lightning and magic happened. Susie's imagination turned into reality and to her surprise, the fairy she painted came to life. dust on her. She woke up but was scared to see a purple crown fairy in front of her. She asked, Who are you? I am Anahi, the enchanted purple fairy. I have come to take you into the whimsical land you always imagined about. Come with me. We will be sitting on an adventurous journey into the world of moonlit meadows and enchanted forests where fairies sing and dance. Let me take you into my beautiful world. I am terror sticking. Tell me, who are you?
ख्वाबों के रंगों की खुशियों की सपनों की अपनों की ये तस्वीर है जादू के लम्हों की मेरे दिल के सभी कतरों की मेरे दिल की ये बगिया है जो इस गुलशन की गलिया है यहाँ हर फूल 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 ब्यूटीफुल मेरे दिल है और अपिया है सुकुमारी ये निंदिया है यहाँ हर पल 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 Conditional but unconditional. Amazing! That is a beautiful relationship. You humans believe in something you have never seen. Yes, we do. Let me show you our divine relationship with the Almighty. Fire, 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 fire,
खुशियाँ मेरी खुशियाँ तो ही रे रात दिन तेरे लिए सजदे करूँ समय कट्टे आयन पन्ने यूनिफॉर्म है। आज क्लास में नील डाउन और बेंच मेले येरी नील। लेट नाईट ए पॉलिश पोड़े अरक साक्षा वाश पन्ने। डेली लेट ए गेट आउट। तू कम पोचे टायर्ड आचे। होम वर्क के एस्केप। डेली इधे वैले आ पोचे। चिची लिकी बिची लिकी। बिम्बी लिकी बिला बी।
कच्चे धागों का ये रिश्ता बन जाता है बचपन से मरते दम तक साथ निभाए बंध के रक्षा सास दिल के रिश्ते का रिश्ता ये अपना रब की रुबाई मैं रहू ना मैं तेरे बिना तू रहे ना तू मेरे बिना मैं रहू ना मैं तेरे बिना तू रहे ना तू मेरे बिना मैं डालू डाल पे भंगड़ा तू भी गिद्दा पाले चले हर रंग जमा दे हम के बने सभी मत वाले परिवार को जन्म देने वाला पिता दोनों ही अपने खून पसीने से अपने पौधों को सींचते हैं ना सिर्फ अपने पेड़ से उसके साय से भी प्यार करते हैं क्योंकि उसे उम्मीद है एक रोज जब वो जिंदगी से थक जाएगा यही साया उसके काम आएगा शियाना मेरा साथ तेरे है ना ढूंढते तेरी गली मुझको घर मिला आप दाना मेरा हाथ तेरे है ना ढूंढते तेरा खुदा मुझको रब मिला खुशियों की मिली है वजह कुछ है जुनून सा कुछ ताकत बन है तो बातें करता ये बुद्धू समन है कुछ है जुनून सा कुछ ताकत बन है सो बातें करता ये बुद्धू समन है
take care of their parents when they grow old? Do all children have parents? Unfortunately, no. Sometimes people abandon their old parents. Sometimes some children lose their parents due to war and natural calamities. For such people, we have foster homes and old age homes. The youth of today has to try to volunteer and help such people. second home and teachers are like our second mothers. They play a special role in our lives. They love us. 
teach us and take very good care of us. The name of my school is DPS Modern Indian School. It is the best in Qatar and the entire Gulf region. The talented team of teachers and a loving principal make the journey of our learning very interesting. Our school has a visionary president, proactive vice president and supportive directors. Now let me tell you about my friends. Friends are the family we choose. A friend is what the heart needs all the time. A friend walks in when the rest of the world walks out. Good friends are like stars. You don't see them always, but you know they are always there. Let me show you how we enjoy at school with friends and teachers. मुझको गले लगा के बैठा दिया पलक पे मुझे 
हाथ से उठा के मेरे जैसा यार कहाँ ऐसा यार याद करेगी दुनिया तेरा मेरा अफसाना friends and teachers <laughs> no no he no i don't want your magic brush i have lots of brushes if magical brushes do not fascinate you come with me and i will show you the white thorn tree also known as the fairy tree it's thorny and white around which fairies dance and celebrate with divine light a white thorn tree In my world nature has gifted us with green trees that are green and loaded with colorful flowers and fruits there are lots of birds and animals too living in it and i learn a lot from nature and animals this relation of yours will also be fascinating isn't it absolutely let me tell you about my special relationship with nature we are blessed with a beautiful earth which is full of beautiful trees mesmerizing gardens colorful flowers chirping birds gorgeous rivers and ravishing mountains we breathe in fresh air eat fresh vegetables and fruits but we humans have started cutting down trees contaminating the water littering and wasting the natural resources recently nature took its revenge for our destructiveness We were hit by earthquakes, floods, famines and diseases. As we all know that our actions determine our future, we learned our lessons and started conserving the environment. We humans have a special bond with animals. We also keep them as pets too. Pets become a part of our families. Animals show unconditional love. They are loyal and friendly. 
A pet can be a lifelong friend. This friend of ours leave paw prints in our hearts. Susie, I am excited to peep into your jar once again and see these relationships of yours. Sure, why not?
ची दोस्ती सच्चा प्यार चाहिए technology now what is technology and what relationship it has with human technology plays an important role in our life it has its own pros and cons technology has allowed the planet to become a smaller place you know i can travel to any part of the world in an aeroplane it helps us to connect to people all over the world staying in qatar i can speak to my relatives in india and see them to video calls i can do online shopping order food and medicines during the time of the pandemic technology helped us to study online technology is great but it can never replace a human so we should use it wisely impressive come meet the wonders of technology
आज धरती से गगन का फूलों से चमन का घटाओं से पवन का हो रहा मिलन जादू 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 ये कैसा है तमाशा नई प्यार की है भाषा अब कोई नहीं है निराशा चुप है हम भी चुप हो तुम भी होती ही सब बातें फिर भी अरे कैसा रे हुआ ये अजूबा तेरे आंचल तले रहते हैं 
अंबर तले जग रहे हम तेरे आचल तले रहते हैं दुनिया में हम ही अकेले हैं जो माटी को माँ कहते हैं माटी को माँ कहते हैं जागे तेरे लिए सारी उम्र तू ही आना सुलाने हमें सर तेरा ऊंचा रहे ये वतन कोई जाने न जाने हमें कोई जाने न जाने हमें
लाऊंगा तेरे वास्ते फलक से मैं चांद लाऊंगा सोला सतरा सितार संग बांध लाऊंगा तेरे वास्ते फलक से मैं चांद लाऊंगा सोला सतरा सितार संग बांध लाऊंगा तेरे वास्ते फलक से मैं चांद लाऊंगा सोला सतरा सितार संग बांध Because I am blessed with precious relationships, I would never choose to exchange any of my relations. My relationships add magic to my life. I totally agree with you, Sozi. I fail to tempt you. Let's bid goodbye. Anahi, you can be my best friend and be a part of my family too. Let me add your picture to my jar of relationships. Ah, today I am happy to add one more relation into my jar. <laughs> Today she taught us that our mental health and personal well-being are tied up in the quality of our personal relationships. The more closely we are connected to the people we love, the more happy we grow each day. Chalo aaj hum milkar kahe har rishta hum milkar jiye. and hope you all enjoy watching it too what do you think of today's program wasn't it mesmerizing i'm sure it has touched your hearts today what we have witnessed is a journey of self discovery up to all learn how blessed we are with a beautiful relationship in our life up to ask ourselves we can really choose to exchange this valuable relationship with many dishes in life. Iota, I will not do that. 
Susie has taught us how precious these relationships are. Today, let us all sit back and reflect on the importance of every relations in our life. How they bring joy and add colors to our life. It is like a garden and tanmai. Do you know what is required for this garden to grow? Yes, I do. It requires love, care, respect, communication, empathy and many more such values. During the difficult times in life, we have witnessed how relationships have evolved. Many roles have reversed. We all started to value our relationships more. Let us all take a vow to cherish this, the greatest gift of the Almighty. Mummies and daddies, uncles and aunties, today on our way back home, let's pick up our phones to make a call or to send a message to your loved ones. Let's tell them how important they are. Let's paint this canvas of life with the colors from the palette of relationships. Presenting the last hurrah of a memorable journey, our grand finale! जो रिश्ते हैं दिल की नजर से दिखते हैं ये जो ये जो रिश्ते हैं दिल की नजर से दिखते हैं महसूस करो इनको तो जिंदगी जैसे लगते हैं ये रिश्ते ही आंखों में सोते और जगते हैं आओ जी इन्हें मिल के आओ जी इन्हें मिल के इन रिश्तों को जी मिल के आओ जी आंगन में ये तो साथ देते हैं धूप और सावन में आते जाते हैं ये दुख सुख भरे मौसम पर भी करते नहीं रिश्तों की ये सरगम खुशियों से आबाद घर हो रिश्तों की लंबी उम्र हो
as we come to the end of this wonderful evening i would like to once again thank everyone for being a part of this celebration let us continue to encourage and support each other strengthen the bonds of relationships and add new relationships in our life let's make this world a beautiful one for the generations to come all parents are requested to please take your seat and we will disperse after some time please take your seats let the children move to the classrooms good evening parents teachers start moving the children please one minute okay. can we just wait for a moment okay wait 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 parents thank you very much for your kind cooperation let's give a big round of applause to ms shifa ms najla and her entire team a big round of applause to our school management for handling this beautiful family and keeping it together always may i request the head of the family mr yasser to please address us thank you ms asna dear parents my dear little lovely children and uh, the, their teachers also the maids who have assisted them through these young years i thank each one of them from the bottom of my heart and you know sometimes we take these relationships for granted but today these young children have made me realize i think they have made you realize also that each one of these relationships is a big treasure as it was shown in the first scene so dear parents thank you for treasuring these relationships for making these beautiful children and trusting them with us and we really thank you for all the support and uh, love that you give us and we hope to continue this relationship as these children grow through these years and reach class 12 soon three cheers to the parents of dps modern indian school for always being the parents that you are for rocking and keeping us motivated to achieve greater heights let this relationship develop into a bond that cannot be broken even if you leave this country and go thank you